Hello the Chosen fans, when I did a shorter version of this video, you guys loved it, so here's a longer and more detailed version. Enjoy! Many of you must have wondered whether the cast and the crew of a show about Jesus actually follows Christianity. Since The Chosen is a TV production, working with an all-believers cast and staff is impossible. But still, people are free to expect a cast that believes in what their characters represent. Wouldn't it be surprising to learn the guy who plays Jesus is an atheist? He is not, but that would be considered disrespectful by many viewers. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't have a discussion about this subject. Are all the chosen cast members Christians? Let's analyze it in detail. I'll start with the leading cast member Jonathan Rumi, who plays Jesus. Jonathan is straightforward about his faith and does not hesitate to share his experiences. He is a practicing Roman Catholic, even though he was baptized as a Greek Orthodox. Now, he is a member of the Knights of Columbus, a global Catholic fraternal service with membership limited to Catholic men. Jonathan is also on the prayer app Hallow and recently promoted it with Mark Wahlberg on various occasions. Looked up in the in the rafters, and there's uh, Jonathan Rumi, who plays Jesus on The Chosen. So we're, uh, nice to say ya. No, I recognize both. Speaking of the Hallow app, another cast member is also on there, Giovanni Cairo, who plays Thaddeus. So Giovanni is also Catholic and is pretty open about his faith. I want to continue with Shahar Isaac, who Simon Peter is one of my favorite characters to appear on screen, and I know you love him a lot. Shahar is from Israel and he is an Israeli Yemenite Jew. In many BTS videos, I saw that Shahar's mother tongue is Hebrew and he speaks it perfectly. In one interview, Jonathan even admitted that it was Shahar who helped him with Jesus' accent. It wouldn't be proper to talk about Simon Peter without mentioning his lovely wife, Eden, and the actor who portrays her, Lara Silva. Lara, who recently gave birth, is also a Christian. In fact, Lara revealed in an interview that she became a Christian in her early 20s. She talked about her faith and said, It was a connection for me. I can't tell one without the other like I can't tell my acting journey without Jesus and vice versa. I can't tell my testimony without realizing that my passion and love and gift that He gave me. He spoke to me like I'm gonna help you. One bonus piece of information about Lara, she actually first auditioned to play Mary Magdalene, but Dallas thought playing Simon Peter's wife would be a better fit for her, and he was right. Speaking of Mary Magdalene, let's talk about Elizabeth Tabish, whose character Mary was one of the first characters we saw in The Chosen's first ever episode. Elizabeth made it clear in a few interviews that she is faithful and believes in God. In fact, she even talked about how The Chosen helped her faith gain strength because she used to be skeptical. In another interview, I learned that she was raised Catholic. She also opened up about her faith and said, Every time I go into a Catholic church or a cathedral, I break down in tears. There's an extra layer of meaning when you go in and look around and are reminded of all these real people who have changed the world. Another cast member whose faith is crystal clear is Nick Shakur, who plays Zebedee. He shared his transformation in a special interview. Nick said that he grew up Christian but never had a personal conversion, so he wasn't really a believer. But his experience on The Chosen set and playing Big James and John's father changed his perspective on Jesus. He then converted to Christianity. I've been on this show. I've been hearing about you. I've been hearing about these parables. And I just want to be with you now. Let's also talk about Judas and the amazing actor who's so believable in his performance, Luke Dimian. I did a little digging to find out about Luke's faith. It turns out his grandfather was Father Luca Sideros, a well-known Coptic Orthodox priest who passed away in 2020. There's a YouTube video of Luke Dimian reading a prayer written by his grandfather. A prayer written by the late Father Luca Sideros. So I think Luke is also a Coptic Orthodox. As for Paris Patel, he's an Indian American and grew up as a Hindu, but whether he continues to be one is uncertain. George Zantis, our dear John, grew up as a Greek Orthodox, but he admitted that he had been a cultural Christian. But the actor also said that being a part of this show made him closer to God. Noah James, who plays Andrew, is Jewish. His dad is from Israel and his mom's side are Sephardic Jews. Apparently, he's about 75% Sephardic and 25% Ashkenazi. 
No wonder he gets on so well with Shahar Isaac. You might also be curious about Vanessa Benavente, the actor who plays Jesus' mother, Mary. In one interview, she revealed that she's not a Christian believer but didn't say whether she believes in any other religion. Also, the new Philip is an Iranian Muslim, but we don't know about the religious affiliations of the other cast members. I wouldn't be surprised to learn they all come from different backgrounds and have various beliefs. Some may even be non-believers, but I don't think they would talk about it since that would be bad press for the show. One final person we can talk about is Dallas Jenkins. Although he doesn't play in the show, he is still the director and has a significant role in making this show a reality. He is known to be an evangelical Christian. He has been pretty open and clear about that. Well, many people are also wondering whether The Chosen is a Mormon production. The answer is no. The show has three script consultants and none of them are Mormon. They are a Roman Catholic priest, an evangelical New Testament scholar, and a messianic Jewish rabbi. That's all for this video. If you have any more questions about The Chosen, feel free to write them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And do share any information you might have about The Chosen cast that I did not share in this video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon.